All right, yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is I'm going to be discussing a pair of shoes that I think could go up in value. I've had a few people mentioning it in my comment section and uh, this is also one that you know I've seen some people that again you know I talk with you know because of course I'm not the only one that you know thinks of like my whole goals or you know what shoes I invest in. Of course look at other people for advice also you know so I've seen some people definitely buying up this one also and I always take your guys recommendations too and look into them and I mean most Jordan 1 lows I think I think Jordan 1 lows are the future. I do think uh, you know I mean they've dropped a lot of pairs of them but I think that they're definitely going to be a lot more popular coming into next year or earlier this or later this year not earlier i mean there has been some cool pairs but i do agree with what some people are saying on that so we'll kind of hop into what jordan one i'm discussing i'll show you all some past examples to show you all that this one will probably do well over a longer period of time like six months to eight months and if it doesn't go up in that time then it'll probably be a 12 month hold but i think this one will probably take around six to eight to make some good money for you so we'll get into it so if y'all want more content like this again check my instagrams any of that down below and feel free to subscribe and like again no like goal in this video just uh, as many as possible and again don't forget 50k we're doing the lightning giveaway uh lightning 4 giveaway those just dropped and uh yeah you know i'm very excited to give away a pair of those for sure because you know 50k is a big milestone i didn't even think i'd get there but you know here we are so i appreciate your guys support and constantly watching my videos it means a lot so let's get into it and also with what's going on with my eye if, if y'all can see it i just got like i don't really know what's going on with it. like my other one's straight but this one like has like a red line through it. it's kind of weird but i get that sometimes no issue with it but super off topic so let's just kind of hop into discussing this so first thing first the air jordan one low starfish as you guys know this one was very very limited it did not drop in many locations only foot locker dropped at shout out to some of my comment section for this information they said it only dropped at the foot locker uh in la so, I mean, that's that's pretty limited, you know, and most shoes that, again, would only drop at very few locations will probably go up in value because I didn't see many raffles going on for this one. I saw a fair amount, but, I mean, not a lot of people really hit on those. You know, it's typically the raffle botters and people like that. Uh, but it's very, it's very hard to raffle bot now. A lot of sites have gotten a lot better with it. So usually it's a, a manual winner, you know, which I think is pretty dope. So aside from that, you know, I guess we'll really hop into discussing what I think the shoe could go up to. Excuse me, but yeah, let's kind of, what, what do I think this could go to? So right now, I think the range is around in sizes. I think it's around 220 or more or less 230 to I guess around 290 or 300, you could say, because some of those really small sizes, like a three and a half and four, looks like the lowest ask is a little bit higher. So we're kind of at a range of, I guess, 235 uh, is to yeah three hundred dollars so aside from that what i think these ones could go up to i totally think we could see the smaller sizes kind of those ones below a size six i mean those ones are much much harder to find and honestly it's probably not as sustainable to hold those sizes i would probably hold something like a size 12 so again those bigger sizes they're a little bit cheaper right now kind of at like 250 and i could totally see this being a jordan one that goes up uh, just because of its colorway it's a really clean uh, style of color blocking a lot of people are really messing with these and there's something about them i think the colorway resembles some sort of very uh well-known jordan one some people i think were comparing it to some sort of like shattered backboard or something i i mean i, I understand like you know the og shattered backboard colorway and all that but I'm, i have to kind of see a little bit more so this is what i think we were seeing a lot of comparisons to i think a lot of people are comparing it to the reverse shattered backboard that's why i remember hearing a lot about and yeah you can see it's even here with it so a lot of people are comparing it to the og shattered backboard and reverse shattered backboard and i kind of get that because i i mean i see it the orange is somewhat resembling it you know and people love to make those comparisons nowadays with uh, newer models they'd love to say uh you know something like oh those ones look just like you know this or something you know just so they could you know compare the shoe and be like yeah you know this looks like it so it's so it is that you know a lot of people like to say that but i don't think it's like a bad thing or anything uh, thank you, Google, for the random notification there. But yeah, aside from that, let me kind of discuss what I think these ones will go up to because I didn't even mention that yet. So in six to eight months, I could see these ones in those bigger sizes being up at around a range of 300 to maybe 350. I'm not really going to put a plus because I don't think they're going to go crazy, crazy, but I do see them maybe around some 50 to $100 per pair. And maybe in those smaller sizes, we'll see like $50, $75 worth of progress. But I do see it rising. Most Jordan ones have done well, and I'll kind of show you all that now so you guys can see some proof that Jordan ones do well. And this one's even already doing a slight rise you can see look at this so 220 223 229 236 240 i mean it, it is rising right now so i mean that should that, that's something so I'm, i might get a pair or two you know just to hold on to because i do need a little more variety in my sneaker collection but uh or not my collection but my investment collection but i mean i'm already holding so many shoes right now i just need to you know hold some cash for a bit to be honest or buy like some Ethereum or something because that just went down. So I'm not even tripping. I'm probably about to buy some more. So that's good. Because whenever I've just bought it low and just held it 
I've made a ton of money off that, so I'm gonna keep doing that. But uh, yeah, aside from that, let's not discuss shoes. Let me show you all some examples on why this one is a good hold. I mean, it's already going up, so I don't need to show too much, I feel like, but really looking at the Jordan 1 low UNC. Again, this is one, I mean, I was I liked it. I wasn't really a massive fan, but uh, yeah, if you go look at it right now overall, I mean, yeah rising in value right now the chart is rising you can see down here it's at 130 and then up here now it's at 168 kind of 170 so again not really like a shorter term hold most of these shorter ones are kind of six to 12 months which i mean that that is kind of shorter term if you think about it because a longer term hold would be something you hold for years and years but i mean this one you know i wasn't too huge of it. i didn't think the colorways even all that i just thought it wasn't my personal style but i knew it would do well since unc was in the name and also this one right here i've mentioned this in so many past videos i've been talking about the shoe for probably a year now and uh yeah you know constantly rising always going up you know doing good so jordan one local purple again another colorway right there so you can see that one resembles just it's not even like resembling any sort of like super crazy colorway like the starfish like you can see the starfish is going for more uh, because you know it re resembles the reverse shadowed backboard or the you know the OG one and people have made that comparison but this one's just resembling a normal pair uh, the core purple 2.0s or 1.0s and those ones don't even go for like too high of a value you know what I mean but I mean a dead sock pair is like $600 for, like an OG pair but still shadowed backboard's like 2k so that should say enough but this one right here and then also the pine greens I got a pair of these in my collection just size 10 uh, or I think it might be a nine and a half and I didn't even notice these went all the way up to like 270 which is crazy I definitely should have bought another pair even though mine's good condition which I'm glad I've kept it uh, nice and clean but yeah it's just gone up all the way to like $300 and I mean, I kind of knew it would do that, but I didn't know it would do that this quickly. So yeah, this one, I mean, I bought my original pair for 160, yeah, 160 brand new. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, now to see that, I could probably sell it for more than I, you know, got it for, which is a really good thing, but I'm not selling my pair. So I'm happy about that. And yeah, just kind of seeing all these, seeing these charts of past Jordan ones. Hopefully y'all know that these ones are a good hold. Cause I mean, look, they all do at least some progress. And I think these ones will probably do very similar progress to the Jordan one low core purple ones. Uh, I mean, they're already rising now. So, I mean, let's go look at the month chart. I mean, yeah, you can see the chart's pretty, you know, it, it's harder to get pairs. I see why people have been trying to get bulk of these. So if anybody wants to sell me their pair, hit me up. But I mean, shoot, I'll pay, I'll pay the market price right now, if that's fair enough. So yeah, to say the least, it's really everything I need to mention right there. Hopefully my tracking will update on these uh, few kind of brick items I sold to StockX. I need that to update because I, I dropped them off yesterday, but they haven't updated yet. So hopefully that'll change today because I do not want to get lose a few items and get striked down that would that would be a fat l so yeah aside from that that's really everything you need to mention right there hold the air jordan one of those starfish you'll make some money off it it's a good idea and yeah we'll just kind of hop into the outro so anything is down below if you want to check that out ig is discord any any you know comment section too if you want to ask a question anything i'll be there i'll answer it for you feel free and uh yeah you know again road to 50k we got the giveaway going on there appreciate y'all following me on instagram even though i don't post too much aside from all my story i'm gonna post going at 50k of course for the giveaway so y'all will see that and uh yeah that's really everything needs to be mentioned right there so i'm gonna end this check me out down below drop a like no like goal and yeah that's it i'm tired i'm gonna probably take a little nap before class because i got class it's 9 40 right now and i got class at 12 so kind of sucks and class is like a 20 minute walk it's boof it's really boof I'll see y'all in the next vid though. Peace.